I like you to make the multi-cycle Tour 600. It's definitely not Dutch, and I wonder who comes up with these uh, weird names. I think it must be coming from that uh, little island, Formosa. Well, I brought it home as a uh, parts bicycle, especially for the uh, for the rear light. It's exactly the same model as uh, on my Eddie Ha sports bicycle. Although the uh, Eddie Ha sports bicycle has a little uh, screw on the top here, probably for an earth connection. And just like my Batavas bicycle, this one is also missing the uh, the last bit of the mudguard. I wonder why. And as you can see, the chain case has some damage. But at least now we know that there's a chain inside the case. And the chain is definitely set too tight. It's got a saddle coming from a gazelle bicycle. And it is uh, leaning towards the left. This uh, must have been a big girl. Not that uh, that matters. It has a three speed rear hub from a Sax Torpedo. And the uh, shifter looks a bit uh, questionable. But so far I haven't tried it because it has a flat and a terrible looking front tire. So that will have to be replaced if I ever want to take this bicycle out for a test ride. But it has my favorite kickstand, although this one might be a bit short. And it has a uh, nice aluminium uh, crankset and I could use that on my uncle's old gazelle bicycle that uh, currently has one that looks a bit scruffy. And it has a bell, although it has been placed a bit uh, awkwardly. And this lever here is uh, bent. Sounds a bit rough. So if I want to test ride this bicycle before I scrap it and put it into the uh, blue scrap metal container, I should replace this uh, leaking front tire. And I also should look into that uh, tight chain. See, it's definitely a bit dry, crunchy and tight. So I'm going to brush on some liquid gold, although it has turned into black gold. And of course, the crank is rubbing against this uh, stupid trim piece that's always bothering me. It already feels a little bit better, but it looks like this uh, bicycle is also missing the uh, chain tensioners. Great. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll try it like this. But I am going to remove this uh, stupid trim piece because that rubbing sound against the crank is really bothering me. And this chain case is toast anyway. Wait, wrong spender again. Let's try this again. And for some reason, the uh, brake cable was already loose. Hopefully when I take out the wheel the frame will not tip over. The uh, brake reaction arm is stuck. Yes. All right. I need my screwdriver. All right, I'll bring this back in a second. I'm that quick. Well, I told you I was quick. Huh. That's something new. That will uh, need to be fixed. And this is only a 28 millimeter tire. Yeah. I'll try to bend it out of the way. This tire was just as stiff as that uh, chain. It was a bit of a struggle to install it. Looks like there's also a piece missing here. And I don't believe that these uh, plastic mudguards are, are original for this bicycle. I've decided to take off the mudguards. After all, it uh, still isn't uh, the muddy season. Although the other day, the, uh, the local mud road 
to into a long, long wet puddle. All right, for now I don't need these. I'll reinstall the wheel. Well, the mud guard's gone, and the wheel's back in, and apparently it also breaks. So now it's time to flip the bicycle and take a test ride. But first, the rear wheel needs some air, otherwise it will not be able to uh, resist my ass. And I don't like these uh, French valves. They probably have some kind of uh, official name, but I don't know it. We call them French valves. And it's leaking at the valve. But maybe that's because of my crappy pump. Well, I'll get some air in there somehow. Turns out the uh, seat post is loose. Well, at least it is not stuck. And of course, some Vietnamese uh, lumpia eater decided that using Allen heads would be okay. Well, it isn't. Just give me a M8 13 millimeter bolt and nut. Yes, well, I hate Allen heads. But I'll get this uh, adjusted and then I can take a test ride. I told you this kickstand was too short. Well, I'm finally ready for my test drive. And this is a step through frame, so I will use that. Well, that's failed. I didn't go far because I don't have any gears. No idea what this is uh, all about. I'll try to find a gear. And it doesn't seem to matter which position I select. And I can see the uh, shifting pin move, but still no gears. This should be second, this should be third. No gear, second. I'm hitting the kickstand. here moving to first nothing back to second nothing and third let's uh, remove this uh, click box I believe it's called a click box not sure it's a annoying setup compared to the Sturmy Archer but uh, maybe it will uh, default uh, into some gear. Not sure if it will be first or third. No gear. Fuck. I will squirt in some WD-40. Maybe that will uh, fix the problem. It uh, it did with my uh, Sturmy Archer. So yeah, why not try it? Because. If it's not going to be an easy fix, this bicycle just wants to die. And that's okay. I have no problem with euthanasia. I am kind of progressive that way. Let's see if we got a gear. Nothing. You really want to die, multicycle? It's okay. Well, I tried, but I just cannot get it in gear. So this bicycle just wants to die. Yeah, don't blame me. I tried. But it might be fun to open up this uh, hub and see if I can figure out uh, what's wrong. Um, I do have another hub, an, uh, an SRAM um, T3 or I3, not sure. 
and I think that will uh, be uh, compatible with this one but that's just too much work to install so I'm going to take out this um, uh, rear wheel and then in another video I'll have a look uh, inside because these uh, internal gear hubs they do uh, kind of fascinate me although I have never um, looked uh, into one of these that's kind of odd it looks like one of those uh, circlips that holds on the rear cog but the rear cog is not loose huh weird no idea and out comes the rear wheel I need to let the air go first and I will have a look inside this hub in another video and say goodbye uh, to the multi-cycle for now I will not scrap it just yet but I'll put it away and if I can uh, fix this rear wheel if I can fix this hub which I doubt then I can uh, put it back inside the, uh, the frame and then I can go for a test ride I don't think the uh, multi-cycle minds if I already take off the uh, rear light for on my uh, RIH sport bicycle I don't think I need the, um, the cable here it is perfect no damage thank god I don't think the uh, multi-cycle mines if I already throw out this, uh, the remains of this chain case alright now I can remove this stupid trim piece but I'll do that uh, off camera if you actually made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and it, well, whatever those uh, YouTubers say. To be continued.